So, would you like to have a conversation? Yeah. What's your body count? What does that mean? How many people have you fucked? Different people. Why would you say that? This is a question. It's an uh, important question. Why not? I mean, you know what's, what's interesting? The last time I was here, there was a young lady that said that she had talked to you. She said, he's actually struggling with his faith. He has things in his life that are difficult for him. It's very interesting that that she said that about you, that somebody that knew you. And she was actually a, 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 a side that you would do this. Well, see, I, I was talking to you and, well, you guys. No, right? no, but, yeah. And some of you are saying fucked up things, right? Okay, so, like what? Do you believe that other religions are going to go to hell? Alright, so, so if someone's completely morally good, the best person out there. There's no one completely moral. Alright, what's the problem? Pretty close. Pretty close. No one's close enough. You sin every day. Like, how often do you already say? Uh, probably like four. So multiply that by 18 or 20 years. How many sins have you committed in your life? I, I, I know I'm a sinner. I, I, okay, I, that's good. You're halfway. What do you do with your sin? Yeah, right. Well, according to your religion, I'm, I'm sinning, right? But yeah, but you can be in forgiven. my mind, I'm I am I'm morally I'm doing stuff that's morally okay too. So no, okay. it isn't. That's not okay. okay. You did. Yeah, it is. You used vile language. All right, so okay, you've already on, admitted on, you've had vile thoughts. So so as, many actually, answer my question. Answer my question. So how though. can you say in one moment no, 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 that, no, no, that no, no. you're so, you're so not answer my moral question. in the next moment? Do you believe? Islamic people are going to hell. Yes. If they are yeah. fully, like, if, if, if they're... If they're following the tenets of Islam, of course they are. And they're working whatever, they're, they're supporting the community, supporting multiple people. Guy owns a homeless shelter and he's feeding all these people. Nicest person out there. He's going to hell. Well, the, the, number one, there's no nice people. Number two, feeding people and yeah. having a homeless shelter doesn't make you right with God. Well, number I, three, right, the Bible is very clear, and Jesus Christ declared there's only one way to God through himself. So either he's a liar, he's a lunatic, or he really is the way to God. So I don't think Jesus is a lunatic, because people followed him wherever okay, he went. People the... who don't trust in Jesus were right? Pagans who don't trust in Jesus were right? Anyone who doesn't trust in Jesus. Yeah, but you see, if they're because morally we're not, good. we're not morally good. That's the problem. Some people are morally good. The Bible says no one's good. By what standard are you using? What is good? Hey, if, you, if you're out there and you're, you're a good person, like... But, but define if good. If your mindset is to help out people... But what is good? Based on what? Morals. Like, yeah, but based on what? Where do you get morals from? It's, it's your, if you don't, if it's you inherent, need, right? if you you need a book right to tell home. you what your morality should be, it's then maybe you're not a good person. But what if uh, Joseph Stalin says that uh, what's good is the Communist Party and we're going to kill well, everybody that doesn't agree with us? You should just listen to random people that tell you what to do. Random? He was one of the most powerful uh, yeah, men in the world. 60 million but people just, died under just, his morality. Right, so yeah, so what, you're saying, oh yeah, because Hitler said No, but you're, Jews, you're like, saying... You, that that's right too? No, no, it's not right. So how do we determine what's right and what's wrong? That's the question. Well, you see, if you do... Back in the store? I'm about to get in his store. So, so that's a good question. I mean, you haven't thought yeah. this through. No, I have. I, I have. So what's good? There are How so do you know? There's so many inconsistencies in your statements. Yeah. See, you see, we're listening. No, you no, may no. be able to fool your friends. No, you're just, you're just, just getting the small a parts of my, you're just asking the small parts of my What is the standard you use yes. to determine good? How do you know something is good? If I'm feeling right about what I'm doing at the end of the day, okay. and other people are too, okay. they're thinking I'm what I'm doing is right, and okay. that's how I feel good about myself. So, and, and so, in, you brought up Adolf Hitler, they thought it was good to kill Jews. Yes. And the majority thought that. Yes. So you would say that that was good in Nazi but Germany? I follow blindly, like yeah. you. But blind according to what? You don't follow blindly either. Yeah. You don't follow blindly. So, same thing, like, how do you know what's good? In, in all sincerity. Uh, uh, someone who can play morality classes, I... Yeah, but what's the standard? The How do you know? The Catholic standard. What's that? The Catholic standard and my own conscience, my man. Okay. Like, you guys come out here and we heckle you because what the fuck are you doing? You're sitting out here just yelling at kids. No, not at all. Yeah, that, 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 that is what you're actually doing. talking. I'm talking to you now, but yeah. that's not what you do when you stand up on these stools. You were reading he was pastures. No. No, the you, only one yelling is that guy. Are you going to let me Are you gonna let me talk? Because I was sitting here saying something. You're just talking over me. So you don't want to hear my point. Yeah, go ahead. But we're just so you, you, No, story. no. You guys come out go here ahead. and you have people. Go you call ahead. them sinners and all this shit. And obviously nobody wants to hear it. And you don't even do it in like... A, a discourse fashion. You don't sit down at a table and say, hey, let's have a conversation. Like you we're sit, having now? Like we're having now. This isn't what you do, though. You sit yeah. up on, on pedestals with speakers and you just chant shit at people. Can I answer that? 
Sure. Sure. We've had multiple conversations. See, Sean, he's talking to three people. I've spoken to at least five or six people. You rejected me, wanting a one-on-one -on -one with me because I asked you. You didn't want me. Yeah, because I'm here to make okay. fun of you guys. I know, but, but, but what church why? do you even but, but, represent? What, what church do you even represent? Why, why bother? What church do you even represent? Why bother? Because why well, are you bothering? What's that? Because, I, I, because the same reason you bother is why I bother. Because you believe in the scripture. What? You believe in the scripture. You I believe. believe in, in Jesus I believe in my own spirituality. I think the Bible has a lot of great messages and like. Jesus Christ probably God, was a person that he actually... God. I never said I was fucking you're, God, you're guy. I mean, I'm like, I mean, dude, you're an asshole, bro. I'm here to talk to this guy. This guy actually has, like... You it doesn't bother me. Yeah, but, but you're you just arrogant. Really... But everything that comes out of your anyway, mouth... Anyway, my point is, is, is I believe in, like, the messages that the Bible has to say. I believe in, like, the way you can be a good person. I don't think, like, is it rock set in, like, the Ten Commandments and Moses? No, that, it's a book. Who written says? by man. Who says? I who? says, because he's asking me my opinion. <laughs> Why are you still you know talking to me? Were Can you get this guy out of here? If you want to talk, if you want to talk to me, you're gonna have to get this guy. Uh, the Ten Commandments were written by the hand of God. Go ahead, right, talk to him. Talk to him. Go ahead. No, I'll, I'll talk to him. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you for butting out. Like I asked you a million fucking times. Suck a dick. So anyway, you guys come out here. You act like you know you're representing Christianity, but Christian values above all else is love. God is love. Doing God's work is doing acts of love and all that. That's the truth of the matter. No matter what God you believe in, no matter what religion you follow, yep. that's the truth of life. Yep. Right? So that's not what you guys are doing out here. And frankly, it's mad annoying. And on top of that, you got some one dude last semester like implied some chick like was lying about being sexually assaulted, all this types of crazy shit. Yeah, I don't and know that's about the, that. Yeah. But it happens. Okay. And I know the girl. Yeah. Okay. So like you guys don't come out here spreading love, so that's why we don't come back at you with love. Yeah. But you know, I hear you. You come back and you making fun of you because it's funny because like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. And I did go to Catholic school. I have read the whole Bible, and okay, I'm very well versed yeah. on spirituality, the Bible, the Quran, okay. the Torah, yeah. Hinduism, all that stuff, man. Okay. I've, I've taken plenty of morality classes. I've done morality retreats of my own accord, man. I do a lot of work in the community, so like. But what's the standard you use to determine whether something is moral or good? That's my, that's the question. I don't question. know my own moral compass. So I've, I've I've lived a life of that, learning morality throughout it's good through, through different avenues. Okay. And I you is know that, that's everybody. Everybody do, should do that. I mean everybody does do that. Okay. Even you do that. No, no, I, I don't because you, I have a higher standard. Right, that is scriptures. your higher standard, but that's in your opinion. Yeah. No, no. It, 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 the Bible is the same all across all denominations. The Protestant Bible. Yeah. You know. And we don't from, add to it. That's exactly. the Catholicism adds to this. Apocrypha, the magisterium, the infallibility of yes, the Paul. But those are also all added as, you know, metaphors. As human beings. As human beings and as, as metaphors for... So the, the Reformation, like Martin Luther, John Calvin, they said sola scriptura, and that's what we hold to. I hold to. Okay, this but, is but, my only statement. But, but either way, my point is, y'all's interpretation is still different among the different Protestant denominations. Mm -hmm. There so, are some differences, so, sure. So you, you can't yeah. say that that one book is just the say all end all because it's not and even and if you go back to the earlier translations before it was even translated in, in English you could read a lot of scriptures from the Bible in different manners and fashions so the reality is there is no one set in stone you know but there is the written word and the reason we could go back to the word is we could do a forensic study you know, do you know what I mean by a forensic study? Yeah, about like we can the, go, the old Bible. We can just, them and yeah, yeah, we yeah. could just go back to, the, I mean, does it say, Behold, I have set the land before you? Yeah. So can we agree that? Yeah. Sometimes. So the whole Bible Depend says that. Uh, depending. I mean, what, what did it say before it was translated into Greek? Um, what did it say after it was translated Well, no, Greek? it was written in Greek and then in Hebrew. So, the Bible was not the, written in Greek first. The New Testament was, Koine Greek. In Hebrew, the Old Testament was in Hebrew. Yeah. And a little bit of an Aramaic. Yeah, so, I remember it being Aramaic. Yeah. I, but that's the only came afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Old Testament, uh, Hebrew, New Testament, Koine Greek, which means common Greek, is, was the language. Anyway, so I do gotta that, get get out of here, man. Okay. I'm just you hey, thank you for. Yeah, that's okay. I'll but you know something? Here. We do. We at least if, at least you're a civil dude and clearly like have knowledge about you and like yeah. everything. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. I appreciate I that. that. Yeah, you Salvation. too. Salvation. How you doing, sir? Good. Good. What can I do are for you? Part you? Of my group? Yeah, yeah. What church you're part of? Um, just Christian church. I go to my own church. You go to the Baptist church? No, I'm a Protestant Reformation uh, pr uh, Presbyterian. How about you? Oh, I'm a Baptist. Okay. All right. You're a Christian. You're faithful.
dressed up as a cult. Yeah, yeah, he goes out. We came last time and he just mocks and says vile things. Terrible things. The guy with the Pope. I thought you said you were part of that group. Oh no, the Pope is mocking. He's not part of us. He's mocking us. He's swearing at us and saying all kinds of horrible things. So the Pope is not part of you? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I thought, I thought you were. So you're Presbyterian. I am ultimately, yeah, yeah. Do you read the King James Bible only? I, I, you know, I do, but I, I know enough Greek and Hebrew to know where the variations are. I'm not like a King James so only. Me, I'm a King James only person. Okay. So well, the, the best James text, best text. Is the only true, yeah. true Bible there is. Yeah, yeah, no, I would agree with you. I agree with you. And That's I why I switch. In free, and I also believe in free will. So okay. everyone has their own free will. Mm -hmm. And I know Presbyterians are Calvinists. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible's Calvinist. <laughs> well, the Bible is free will. Well, and God didn't force Adam to take yeah. the fruit of the knowledge. Yeah, but when a person, choice. when a person, I agree with you, I, I believe in free will as well, but a person that has a sinful nature, their free will will only be exerted by choosing sin. Okay, so if that's the truth, why are you out here? Because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The truth so, is, because we don't know who whose God elects are, so as we proclaim the Word of God according to the Word of God that we don't know that the Holy Spirit might use our words and regenerate somebody. Okay, but I don't get it because what you're saying is true. I hear preaching it. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. What you're saying is God's predestined people to hell, predestined people yeah. to heaven. Then why are you here then? Because we don't know who they are. So how, well, if God, are God knows who they are, yeah. What? Because the Bible commands us to. Have you ever read Romans chapter 10? Yeah. What does it say? Does it, do you know what it says? Not on top of my head. It says, how will they know? I mean, we can read it together. It says, how will... The Bible is pro The Bible is that, yes, in the fallen nature, they'll only choose sin. You can't... These people that are not in Christ can choose nothing but sin. So that's their free will. They can't free will themselves into heaven, can they? Let me ask you a question. Is a person dead in their trespasses and sins? Yeah. Okay, so if a person is dead, how do they become alive? They have to accept Christ. How can a dead man, willingly. how can a dead man accept Christ? Can a dead man accept Christ? Oh. Well, then Christ died for our sins. But how, how can a dead man accept Christ? Okay. So, if Christ died for our sins. Okay, right. Right. He took away the sins of the world. All we got to do yeah. is accept Him, invite Him into our life, and be willing to change. And how can you do that if you're dead? You have to recognize that how what you're doing is wrong. That's the term repentance. You have to recognize that you're but doing is wrong. But how can a dead man do that? Everybody's dead in trespasses. Right. It doesn't. It takes the Holy Spirit from an honest person. Oh, okay, you sound like a Calvinist. <laughs> you do. If they're willing right. to accept it. Wait, 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 wait. How could a dead man be willing to accept it? A dead man can accept it because he everybody's de already dead in trespass and sin. And how to become so alive? You become alive by accepting the gospel. Wait, how could a dead man accept the, that gospel? All he has to do is accept it and... Like Lazarus in the tomb? Wait, wait, here's Lazarus in the tomb, right? All he's got to do is like wake himself up so he can hear the voice of Jesus to say, come out. See, there's a problem with your theology. Well, there, you're going back in the Old Testament. No, no, no. Christ that, didn't die yet. Uh, no, I'm right here the in Jews Ephesians. Require, no, no, no. Sign. Well, you said the Lazarus tomb. The Lazarus that's tomb in the Old Testament. No, it's no, that's not. the Old Testament. No, it's not. It's in the book of John. No, the Bible says the, wait, death, wait, 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 wait. the death of a testator. What are you talking about? The, the, we're, Look it up. If you don't believe me. That the story of Lazarus is in the Old Testament? Yeah, because Christ didn't die for our sins yet. And you're is, John, is John in the New Testament or Old Testament? It's in the Old Testament, wait, wait, wait. mostly. Wait, John, the book of John? The yes, Gospel that, of John is the Old Testament? That's, that's for the Jews. Wait, Jews are wait, wait, wait. John, the Gospel of John is in the New Testament. The Gospel of John is in the Old Testament. Wait, wait, wait. Christ no. died wait, 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 wait. And here's, rose here's the Old Testament. It ends in Malachi, right? Just because someone puts the New Testament in the wait, Bible wait, wait, wait. doesn't make it the New get... Testament. The Testament what starts with the death about? of a testator. So? The testator being Christ. When Christ died, was died, buried, and rose again, 
according to the scriptures. So, so the Gospel of John is in the Old Testament. Yes. So Christ is resurrected. Wait, the Book of John is in the Old Testament. Yeah, because Christ wait, wait, wait. did not die yet. Wait, wait, wait. wait but in the Bible, you're okay? supposed to rightly divide the word of truth. Right, okay, let's do that. What's this say? I mean, that's not the inspired word of God. This is New Testament, right? And so what your, does this your, say? Your, your definition of the New Testament... No, no, I, I, it's just, just right a, here. It's just a, a book dividing the New Testament from the Old Testament. The Bible says the death of a testator. Okay. okay? Yeah. God's elect is the Jews. He's coming back at the rapture to rapture all the saved saints. Okay. And How'd they get saved? going to... Then he's going to pour out his wrath on the earth because he can't okay. pour his wrath out on the body of Christ. But he poured his wrath out on Jesus. Right? For the sins of the world. Yep. He cannot the pour sins of who? Who's the world? No. For the Christ sins of... Christ died to save those who accept him. So, he, said, okay. he said, I have not called yeah, yeah. them the righteous, so, but sinners to repent. Yeah. He's calling people. So what's your argument? That's what we do. He chose people. Why not? He's well, wait, wait, in John, John chapter 8, Jesus said, I have not chosen, you have not chosen me, I have chosen you, right? Right. Right? So if, that, wait, if a person is dead, I could say that man there, he's dead, how can he come to be alive? By choosing? He has to have that resurrected spirit in him by accepting the gospel. Thank you, exactly. But he so, can't accept the gospel unless he recognizes that he's dead no, he can't. and he's trespassed the sin. Wait, how How's does it? a dead man recognize he's dead? How does a dead I mean, anybody can recognize when you're dead when you're wait, not Wait, wait, breathing. wait, wait. Okay, so oh, wait, 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 wait. Somebody's in a somebody's in the grave and they're not breathing. They say, "Gee, I think I'm dead because I'm not breathing." Okay, so I believe life starts at birth. Not okay. Concept, okay. Right? Unlike most Christians, Christ, when God created man from the earth, He breathed into him the breath of life. Right. So before you're born, you are technically dead. You know what I'm saying? Dead. Until your birth, born, you then breathe your first breath, the breath of life. So now you're alive. So where's that say in the scripture? That's I just told you, God took Adam. Yeah, He created Adam, Adam and after Adam, that, it was Adam born was through a lifeless body, and He breathed into him the breath of life, and Adam became a living soul. Okay. That's what the Bible says. And okay. you're telling me that a dead man can't recognize a that dead man dead. can't recognize so anything. Why are you born then? What's why that? are you why are you exist then? Because you don't breathe in the womb, as far as I'm concerned. Well, it's well. I disagree with your definition of life. So you would go for abortion then? I'm not pro-abortion. Okay, but that, if that's not, they're dead. A fetus, I just had a baby. My wife just had a baby. You're telling me from the moment of conception until that baby took a first breath, I'm, I'm he's trying dead? To, I'm arguing with this guy. Yeah, well, because he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. He's, oh, he, he, he makes no sense. He's telling me that dead people can respond. That, that That's not a terrible argument. Well, this guy's telling me that people can choose, have no right to choose. They're predestined. Well, that's what the Bible says. So what's it say here? In John chapter 1. You know, the Bible also says, ye are gods. You can look that up in the Bible. Yeah, and that means judges. So... So you're taking the Bible way out of context here. I don't think so. You're using a new no, no, no. no, this is King you're James. Over there this is King James. The, this is King the, James. Well, you this said is King you used James. This is the King James. I said I use the King James. You're over there. But I recognize that. enough. You're over there saying people are are predestined to this and predestined to that. Who said I'm that? saying people have to be, accept the gospel. You just can't force it so on So how did dead how did dead people accept the gospel? I told you how? again. Musk is not guaranteed to have it because he uses his money philanthropically. You can't give away stuff to be right with God. It's not what we do. My friends, my friends, I want to say this again to you today. It's not what you do that makes you right with God. It's what you believe about Jesus. Salvation precedes right living. Christ precedes what you do, my friends. If you don't have Christ and you try your best, you won't be right with the Lord. You need Christ all over you. The parable here you says Christ this. You. He goes to his servants. He says, the wedding feast is ready. 
but those invited were not worthy. Who's getting married? Who's getting married? Who's getting married? They therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. My friends, we're inviting you to the great wedding feast. We're inviting you to heaven. We're inviting you to be with God so that you don't die in your sins and wake up in the horrors of hell. Where there's the worm dieth not, that means you gain no comfort. Where you're in torment and you're in outer darkness, just the way the Bible describes hell. It's not a fun place. It's not a place that you get a second chance. It's not a place where you get a do-over. It's not a place where you cease to exist. No loving God. My friends, we warn you today. We encourage you to come to Christ. Come to Christ. I have already come. You have to come to Christ. The bride and the bridegroom will gather together on that great day. The bridegroom is Christ. The bride are those who trust in Christ. Why won't you trust in Christ, my friends? You know you'll die. You know you'll be judged. You know you you cannot escape God. You can live as if He doesn't exist. Romans chapter one says, although they knew God, they suppressed the truth of God. That's what people do on the college campus. That's what the, the that's what the teachers do. They don't want Christ to be released in this place. They don't want Him released. You know why? Because you will not be under their authority, and they are not the authority. Christ is. Christ is the great authority. Christ stands in judgment over all of us, and without Christ right now, you are guilty. You are condemned. So do you think, judged guilty. Do you think Christ so, beat off of the whole? So the reality, my friends, is you have an opportunity to go. Turn, trust, and follow him. You don't have to go like this anymore. You can just like... So Jesus said, go into the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you can find. This is you. The Bible speaks yes, of you today. We're yes. inviting you to come God to Christ. I do not want There's no other way to God except through Jesus. You need to come to Him. Your religion won't save you. Your community service won't save you. You know how many people come up to me who are college students today and say, I, well, go, to 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 I go to the food shelter and I feed people. I'm good. That doesn't make you believe God. Who doesn't believe in people? My friends, it's not God. what you do, it's what you believe. The Bible says, that does not say believe to be saved, it says believe. You should be doing be this saved. instead. So those things, my friends, they need the Lord of God. They won't save you. They won't save you. So Jesus said, go to people like you. And it says, those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. You need to find the ball. Some of you think you're okay. They all need to find God. Safe today. They need to find Jesus. But what you need to realize, my friends, is none of us is guaranteed tomorrow. Statistics tell us 160,000 people die every day in this world. Over 160,000 people. They're going to hunt you guys down after not me. We have this little cliche we use with people sometimes. Most people who want to search for Jesus at 1130 will die at 11 p.m. You think at the the end of your life, after you've lived for yourself, God is going to give you some time to investigate him and maybe even come to him. You need to come to him. God not only knows. It's not even a baby. You need to come to Jesus. God not only, thank you very much. You're welcome. So he's the only way to God. This is an eleven dollar microphone. Go ahead. You want to say that? Jesus said. You want to repeat after me? Jesus said. Jesus said, "I want to keep it." I am the way. I am the way. The truth. The truth. And the life. And the life. Eternal life. Like the light. And the life. Eternal life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. In other words, eternal life. He meant eternal life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Yeah, I come to the Father. <laughs> you see? Jesus spoke in terms of exclusivity. That's why I say now and said earlier that Islam can't get you to the one true God. That's why he Catholicism can't get you to God. Because they add that a man must do A, B, and C. That's why Buddhism can't get you to God. That's why any ism won't get you to God. Because you Jesus said he's the only way to God. He proved he was God by living without sin, dying for sin, and rising from the grave like no prophet ever did. And Jesus spoke like no one ever spoke. When Jesus spoke, people listened. And you know what happens in the case of this, my friends? Some of you are listening today. Some of you are convicted of your sin. Some of you know there's a dark no. judgment and you don't know how to get no. to God. But no, we tell no, you, my friends, no, 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 stop no. behaving. Believe. Stop trying. Believe. Trust. My friend, it's not what you do that saves you. God's great plan of salvation has to do with what Jesus has done for you, not what you do for God. No. My friends, that's the good news. Why is it good news? It's because no one can end their way to God. Why are you being friends Jesus with sinners? Has. They're all sinners. And so in this stop story... The servants went out into the roads, oh, gathered all they had found, both died and good. So the wedding hall was filled with dust. 
Now here's the end of the story. This is what you're going to get. When the Bible says good and bad came to the wedding feast, some people who thought they were good enough entered into the wedding feast. And then Jesus says something about this. He says, when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there a man. On everyone. He saw a man who he had no wedding garment. On them. He wasn't dressed appropriately. He, was he did naked. not have what the He's Bible calls righteousness. We would call it a robe of righteousness. In other words, you weren't declared righteous because of your faith. You are actually thinking you are righteous because of your good deeds. You see, what sends a man to hell is not not faith, but good deeds. Your good deeds will send you to hell unless you see yes, that you're not be bad. You see, be this, bad. Is, this is good what deeds will bring you to hell. This is what bad people call Christianity not. unique and distinct you need to from every religion. Every religion will tell you to I try your best to be good. In a bad way every night. But biblical Christianity says it's not based upon what you do. It's based upon what you my son has done. Jesus. Salvation Jesus is, is really out the word. Jesus is the Jesus holiest Jesus does man. the word. Jesus has four more holes than your normal man. You, and you know a lot of Catholics will use this word, especially during Easter time. They'll use this word. Father, into thy hands I commit thy, thy spirit. But you know what they forget to say? This other statement of Jesus. Jesus said this, it is finished. When Jesus said it is finished, he was declaring that he had done all the work to save a man. And so this is why we come to you. This is why we go out into the harvest. You are the harvest, some of you, of God. This is why we come to the college campus. You've been invited to a wedding feast. But if you think that your righteousness will get you in, you will hear these words. The king said to the attendants of this person who, th who did not have a wedding garment, a robe of righteousness, he said this. Bind this man, hand and feet, and cast him into outer darkness. Now here's our fear for you, some of you. Some of you think that you, you can earn your way to God and that your own goodness will get you to him. And Jesus is saying in this story, in this parable, that you will be bound and you will be cast into hell because you never trusted alone in Jesus.